gravity wind grows stronger. For some beachgoers, it's a cue to pack up their umbrellas. For the more adventurous types, it's the perfect time to indulge in their favorite sport, kite surfing. Kite surfing is a popular pastime in Durban. It's an extreme sport that combines aspects of snowboarding, windsurfing, surfing, and skateboarding. And it's not for the faint-hearted. Uh, windy days like this might be a little bit less bases, but if you're on power alerts for a kite surfing fraternity. Mike Benjamin, a local kite surfer and instructor, always wears an action cam so he can record his ocean adventures for his online channel. He doesn't know it yet, but this will be a kite surfing adventure you won't soon forget. So conditions were epic, the waves are massive, so I got out. But the weather along the north coast is unpredictable. Everything can change in an instant. And today's no exception. Big winds, big seas, dangerous conditions. They can get into difficulty due to equipment failure. Uh, also pushing the limits. The waves were around about 10 foot. And I was happily able to get over the back line. At that point, I was downwind of where I should have been. I turned around and a huge wave was now chasing behind me and I had no choice but to ride with the wave. The extreme sportsman is suddenly in extreme danger. It's man against the elements as Mike loses his kite and his board. The shore is in sight, but the shore means rocks, and he's heading right for them. Luckily, lifeguard Jobe, watching from the tower, is the first to spot him. Uh, I'm in the we're the quite a down that's in closing. 300 meters off in closing tower. We need a backup boat. Jobe decides not to wait for the boat. He's seen too many people torn apart on the jagged rocks. He hits the water with his rescue board for the long paddle out. The speed and the velocity of the, the water started overwhelming me. Eventually I found myself right by the rocks. The float is quite a big outcrop of sandstone. It's luck, razor blade sharp. And what happens is on the big rock these days, and then end up getting washed onto the wild side of the floating tidal pool area. And keeps uh, Job and his team's hands uh, super full there. The last thing you want to do is come in from the sea through the rocks, which will cut you up into pieces. One can get it wrong, and when you get it wrong, it can be deadly. Fortunately, I was just short of uh, the lifeguard tower. Truth be told, if I was on my own, I would have been in a different situation and I thank the lifeguards for saving my life. 